So the first thing that we want to do is include a date for the report that we will have on our title page here as well. Uh, that can be taken from a variable inside of the ClickSense app, or it can be done using a formula that we will create inside of the end printing designer. So I'll right click on formulas and then hit add formula. And we will call this update date. Okay, and don't worry about copying down any of these formulas or any of the scripts that we wind up using. Uh, this will all be included in the uh, tutorial document, so you can copy and paste it or type it in directly from there. So we have our first formula created in the form of update date. And to get that into my report, I am simply going to drag and drop it. And this time I'm going to align it with the upper right hand corner of the title that we had just set up. So we want to again do some formatting here. So let's go back to font. We're going to change the font color to 12, the same as what we had before. We are going to also uh, make this italicized. So we're going to change italics no to italics yes. And then the foreground color, let's also make the click dark gray. Okay, and then we have to change the height and the width as well. So the height, let's do again 50, and the width we will do 800. And then you'll have to readjust a little bit to get it where you want to go. Next, we can add a piece of fixed text. Uh, this will have no dynamic element to it, but could provide some context for something in the report. So something like the revenue target, uh, if it explained how that number was calculated. And again, we can make some changes in terms of how wide it is. We'll stretch it to the uh, width of the page here. We can change the font. Okay, now if we want to have a separator to kind of split apart the various sections that we have inside the report, we can do that by adding a line. So again, just drag and drop, and I'll have it line up here, and I want to stretch this all the way across. I do want to change the size of the line, however, and we will also change the foreground color to match up with the click custom dark gray. <laughs> 